Hello and welcome to a short video tutorial on how to use this AWS and Natural Education package. So you open up a web browser, type in the address bar, the URL techcommunity.softwareag.com. And then you browse to home universities. That's where we have all our education packages. And then you scroll down to the AWS and natural education package. And click on that. Here is your education package with the introduction, the course objectives. And as part of the education package, we provide you with tutorials, code snippets on the GitHub, and a virtual machine. If you, check, if you want to check the tutorials, you can have a look at it. We have separated out the nature, natural and AWS topics. Let's check how your very first Hello World program looks like in natural. So this is your program and you can open this file in GitHub also. This is your GitHub for the package. Alternatively, you can also download the code directly from the tech community page by clicking on the link download the code. And then we go back. You can check the code snippets or the GitHub page for the education package as well later on. And now the most important part, the virtual machine. If you are a student or a faculty member, we provide you with virtual machine, which is preloaded with all the software and tools for running the AWS and natural education package. For that, you need to register your email address with us. Type in your email address the text verification code, and then you confirm your email. If you have already registered with us, then you will have to ac activate it with the help of validation token. Let's say you have registered. Now you log into tech community. And you are on the AWS and natural education package page. And now to download the virtual machine, you go to the download section and then follow the steps there. Enter your registered email address and the password you entered. Login and here you have the download page. For this, you need to have the product license and you can get the same from the license page which we provide you with. It will take your last, last name, the first name, the email, accept the license and then download the license. And then you can go ahead to the package download page. It's for Windows 64 bit. Click on the link. The size is approximately 8.24 gigabytes. So depending on your network speed, it would take the time respectively. Let's say you have the license as well as the package downloaded. That's the virtual machine file. Now you need to run the virtual machine. For that, you need to have a VMware workstation player or any other virtual box for that matter, for example, the Oracle virtual box. I'm going to show you how to run it on a VMware workstation player, which you can download from the VMware website as well. So you run the VMware player, you go to file, open. Open the 
virtual machine, which will be in OVA format. And then you import it, give it a name. And after the import operation is successful, which takes a little bit of time, maybe 15, 10 or 15 minutes, you have something like this. And then you start the virtual machine. Follow the steps here. When you start the virtual machine, it's going to use all the resources available in your system and might take some time to successfully start up. Once the virtual machine is up, you can enter the virtual machine and then give the password as manage as mentioned here. and click enter. Please be patient as preparing the virtual machine takes a little bit of time. Now you can see the virtual machine is starting to load up properly. Once it successfully loads up, you go to the desktop of the virtual machine and then you press the Windows button from your keyboard to enter the start menu. And then you can see the software AG designer. Before you run the software AG designer, please ensure that you have the product licenses which you downloaded from our page. Also that you have copy pasted the, those licenses in the path C software AG common conf on the virtual machine. And we'll show you how it's done. So now you open the Windows Explorer in your virtual machine, which is currently running. Browse to the location C, Software AG, Common, and Conf. And now you can copy paste those two licenses from your email, save them, copy them from your local machine, and paste them here as I've done so. And now you can see the software AG designer is loading up because you already clicked on the software AG designer icon from the desktop. You can give a name to the workspace you wish to, whatever name you desire. And then press OK. And then we fast forward. Now you can see that the software AG design suit is totally up and there was already some cheat sheets open. You could you can close it. And to start the cheat sheets again, you can go to the help of the IDE and choose the composite A and EP that is natural step-by-step -step programming examples code snippets press OK and you will see the cheat sheets steps on your right cheat so cheat sheet cheat sheets is a step-by-step -step tutorial and you have to follow through the modules of cheat sheets to make you familiar with the programming concepts of natural some basic programming concepts and you can restart the whole cheat sheet like so and you can get on with the first task of writing your first Hello World program. So I hope uh, this was uh, informative to you and I hope this helps you in getting familiar to the natural and the ADA based code. And at the end of it, you would have some few natural code modules. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy Coding with natural and a database. Goodbye.